we have a lot of beauty in our area, but we also have a lot of beauty in our culture and, and the music that we've been playing for, you know, however many decades, hundreds of years. Growing up, I was surrounded by all this sort of beautiful music and some of these traditions that I, I kind of ignored and took for granted, you know. And then through the music, I started learning not only just music, <clears throat> but kind of about, you know, the old way of life that I grew up, you know, that, that dwindled out, you know, when I was really little. This music, although it's wonderful, it's rather simple. You know, the chord patterns are simple, the words are simple, and the words are about simple things. And I think as life becomes more compl complicated with the information age and all the things, you know, that people are doing now, I just think that it's um, a need. Well, it's sort of like storytelling, you know. A lot of the, the old songs are story, stories, you know. Same way, you know, someone might read you a bedtime story and you tell your kids. And same way with that, you know, if Dad sat out on the porch and played banjo and you picked it up when he set it down to go in or go back out and, and work or whatever, you play those same songs and there's a fondness to that. There's a purity about it that you won't find in other styles of music, period, really. Even, you know, not just saying, you know, old time banjo styles, you know, you won't find many people in America that have learned an old style of music from people who weren't influenced by the media. There must be an infectious energy within the music that whoever, you know, whoever spread the word that there was some, something great happening down there, it kind of got momentum and interest from people in the north and people from other places. This is the original music of where I'm from and like this is the music that's mine.